G'day guys, what I have here are two rewirable fuses. One of them is blown and the other isn't. You can obviously see some blown marks on this one. So it looks like it's blown in the past and burnt some of the ceramic. This one could be the dodgy one, but we'll test them both to ensure. These ones are rated at 5 amps. Only use these for 5 amp circuits. So we'll test both of these to see what one is blown. Get your multimeter. Set it on ohms. Now test that the leads are functioning correctly. So you'll see it says OL and it should show zero. Okay, so now on these fuses, red lead on one side of the fuse and black lead on the copper of the other side and it should show zero. This one says OL, so it means that fuse wire is not joined on the inside of this. Check that one, and that's fine. So that one there is fine. Put it out the way. This fuse here, we'll check the fuse wire on it and pull it out. Ah, oh, look at that. It's broken on the inside of here. Pull the fuse wire out. Be careful that you don't go pulling this copper tab away from that edge there. As you can see, it's hard up against that. Same as for this side. And there you go. Next step get some fuse wire make sure you use the right rated stuff so this goes from the really thin 5 amp all the way to the 15 this 5 amp stuff is what this fuse is rated for so what you want to do unravel it a wee bit cut that bloody end off it now with the end of the fuse wire poke it through the middle of the fuse now when she's out the other side, make sure you leave ample fuse wire so you can just hook it around this in the clamped area and hook it back on itself. So we'll go slide it in that slot, push it down and then we'll just loop that back on itself so there's no live fuse wire sticking out the end of the fuse. And then same on the other side, hook it in that clamp pull it back on itself and you can pull this one up and it will just snap off. Just ensure that these clamps here are still tight against the copper here. If not, you might have to get some long nose pliers out and just squeeze those two together just like that. Check to ensure that the fuse wire is not loose. So that's perfect in this side perfect don't be rough just do it really gently because you might break the wire and then just have to rewire it but anyway so these here are only a couple of bucks from your local hardware store now when you've rewired it obviously it's good to go but for this video I'll just prove that we've fixed it on by testing it so one side, the other side should show zero. There you go. Go slap it back in the fuse board. Rock on.